Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video for Thursday, March the 24th. Always an interesting time of the year, and sure enough, things begin to look very active weather-wise uh, this weekend and the parts of next week. But a lot of forecast challenges here, a lot of uncertainty. So let's see if we can nail down some specifics. First off, in the short term, things are pretty easy for today and tomorrow. There's the Skycam uh, shot coming from Inverness this morning. A few brave souls out there at 5.01 a.m. on Highway 280. Uh, the light uh, batch of showers we saw last night is long gone. That's the uh, Tuscaloosa Skycam. Looking north and from Fayette, the Fayette County Courthouse. The uh, trough that kicked up some severe weather north of the state yesterday has moved on to the east. In the wake of that, we will have cooler, drier, and more stable air today. Now, the cool air a little late in getting here. These are numbers at uh, 4 o'clock this morning. And at that point, Birmingham still had 61, but it's 53 up in Haleyville. And the cold air advection process will continue this morning. And more than likely, we're not going to get out of the uh, uh, 60s today. Around the nation, very cold air up on the Canadian border. It looks like we've got lows in the single digits over parts of Minnesota and North Dakota with a big blanket of snow on the ground here in late March. And we'll just catch the edge of that uh, air mass today. The GFS is showing a high of only 63, and that seems a little too low because it's, what, 61 here at 5 o'clock, but... Uh, the NAM is showing 67. We should be somewhere in the mid-60s today. And the sky should be sunny. Here's our watch warning map. Things are quiet now after some uh, pretty rough weather yesterday. Look at the storm reports. Uh, 329 reports of severe weather, including five reports of tornadoes. And there was a pretty uh, sizable one, apparently, up in uh, White County, Tennessee, in the town of Sparta that uh, produced some injuries and a lot of damage up there. And the Weather Service in Huntsville actually posted a few tornado warnings up in extreme North Alabama last night, but we heard of no reports of any damage from those. Let's look at the uh, convective outlooks. This is tomorrow, Friday. A slight risk for parts of northeast Texas, east Oklahoma, and west Arkansas. And by golly, on day three, look at that. That's uh, Saturday. The uh, guys who defined a uh, risk of severe weather, the standard slight risk over uh, North Alabama, North Mississippi, and the adjacent parts of Arkansas, Tennessee, and Georgia. And we'll review that here in just a moment. On the QPF chart, expected rain through early next week. This is valid through Monday evening at 7 o'clock, and this is suggesting rainfall amounts of about uh, one and a half inches on the Tennessee border, down to only a tenth of an inch around Gulf Shores and Dolphin Island. And uh, clearly the better rains will be over the uh, northern third of the state in coming days. All right, let's dig in here and see what we've got. This is the OZGFS at uh, 1 o'clock this afternoon. Trough is on by, northwest flow aloft, uh, nice day. Again, sunny, cool, uh, cold air advection highs in the uh, mid-60s. Tomorrow looks good. Now we note tomorrow morning uh, we'll be in the uh, mid to upper 30s. The GFS is at 38, the NAM is at 36. So maybe a touch of scattered light frost in spots, and maybe some of those colder pockets could make a run briefly at the freezing mark, but most everybody will be you know, several degrees above freezing. But we warm up nicely. The high tomorrow should be close to 70. All right, Saturday, a very fast flow setting up, uh, but there's no well-defined uh, shortwave or vortmax there. Uh, the winds are over 50 knots at uh, this level. And again, this is at 500 millibars. And down below that, a surface boundary, a warm front, if you will, is moving north, extending from a surface low at Tulsa. And uh, the, the heavier rain north of the warm front on Saturday, and we'll certainly mention, we're going to go ahead and mention a chance of showers and storms on Saturday, but what's more than likely going to happen is that we might see some showers now, I think, Saturday morning with the front advancing north, and then the more widespread rain by afternoon shifts north of us, and we kind of get unstable, especially if the sun breaks out. This is the instability values at uh, noon on Saturday, and uh, even at that hour, you've got instability values over 1,000 joules uh, through parts of Mississippi and uh, Alabama and back into Texas. So, uh, uh, yeah, we're kind of getting into spring when you see the maps look a lot like that. Now, the better helicity values are still to the northwest of here, closer to the surface low. And these are 0 to 3 kilometer helicity values. 
So again, that's not really a classic tornado look, but certainly with a warm front and uh, decent instability and strong winds aloft, despite the lack of a really strong shortwave, there could be some pretty active storms around. So uh, we'll just have to see how that plays out. And I, I tell you now, the confidence is not that good in details, uh, but certainly... We'll go ahead and mention the chance of a strong storm. And there's Sunday. We've got this surface boundary now uh, still kind of hanging around. The, the initial surface low is east of here. And where that boundary winds up on Sunday is still a great you know, cause for debate. Uh, this run has it up over the Tennessee Valley. And we'll keep a chance of showers and storms going on Sunday. And understand both days, it doesn't rain all day, Saturday and Sunday. And the sun might peak out at times, but it could rain at any time both days. Just be aware of that. And Monday, talk about model madness, March model madness. First off, there's the upper flow and down below that. All of a sudden now, the GFS shows us dry as a bone. After days of showing a big rain event on Monday, now we've got this run that shows absolutely nothing. And our ongoing forecast has rain and storms likely. So you can see that forecast confidence is kind of shaky here. Let's go to the European. Uh, this is Sunday at noon, and it's got us almost dry as a bone, okay? So, you know, that's in direct conflict with the GFS. We'll go to Monday morning at 6 o'clock, and it's got a nice batch of rain moving in through here. And then by Monday evening at 6 o'clock, it's gone. So, you see, we have quite a dilemma on our hands, and we'll wait until the 12Z runs come out to make any really super big changes here, but uh, clearly going to be a little challenge and then Tuesday back to the GFS we'll look at that the, the Gulf is opening back up again we've got moisture coming back with another surface low at Kansas City and then Wednesday we go wet again and maybe some thunderstorms involved with that not really a deep surface low but uh, there should be some instability involved and then a week from today Thursday the uh, 31st end of the month trough over the southwest we got, uh, you can see below that, a lot of rain and storms off to the west, and that inevitably would want to move in here maybe toward the end of next week. But look at the, the European on Thursday, direct conflict. It's got a deep surface low, 1,000 millibars, uh, between Memphis and Nashville with a big batch of storms coming in through here. So uh, it's not good when every run looks different and every model conflicts with each other. Uh, but it must be spring, very active, unsettled, changeable weather. Uh, next day, the 1st of April, still got the, got a trough forming over the east and a ridge pumping up over the west. Got that uh, energy hanging back near El Paso, and again, that would suggest the better rain to the south. Cold air to the north, it doesn't really want to get in here, but again, we still believe the door will be open for the chance of a pretty good cold snap at some point around this time period. Uh, 1st of April, maybe that first week of April. On the 7th of April, GFS shows a nice trough coming in here with some wet weather. And on the following day, we go dry. But uh, very active times ahead in the weather office. Hey, must be spring. That's it for the uh, Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.